Welcome back. B A C K. Biggity, 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 biggity back. Welcome to another episode of Extraordinary Gentleman Podcast, episode 40. Shit, I don't even know. 30. Shit, start off. Episode one. <laughs> <laughs> episode 35. I am your host, Benny. Uh, rocking with my brother, Z. What's going on, hey. baby? What's going on? We had to do, switch it up for y'all a little bit. You know, people busy and shit. Fresh off that road, man. Ty, see, y'all excuse me looking rough. If I fall asleep on this interview, don't get mad at me. <laughs> nah, that's it. On this podcast. Ooh, shit. But now, fuck it. I said, we got to do something, man. I've yeah. been ready. Yeah, me too. I just been, I was scared to try with the Zoom. I didn't know how it was going to sound. A lot of sound issues. I was scared. But it seemed like so far it's all right. So we we, we might be on more often now that we got this working. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I've been ready, man. I said, it's too much shit going on for me. <laughs> <laughs> nah, nigga, a lot of shit. A <laughs> lot of shit, baby. We was talking about you. where you want to start at. I know you want to get right to it. <laughs> you call it. Let's get let's get right. Let's get right to it. You want you want do you want to talk about the, the baby and uh Danny Lee? Danny Lay? You know, I was just, as soon as I came in the house, I was there telling Janelle about that shit. Uh, I don't know if y'all got, like, my opinion on that one, but we can start, we can talk about it. Yeah. I So, I don't want to talk about it too much, because that's, you know, a little, little bullshit. You know, shit that we shouldn't be touching anyway. That's rich people business. Yeah. Uh, and even rich people, they my business. Yeah, that's true. Um, yeah. I mean, but you want to put it all out there on social media, and so that, now I can, it is yeah. my business. Yeah. It's on my guy. I'm like, yeah. Uh, Do you, what you feel about it? Honestly, he was right. He he did he did he felt a way about about her because basically he told her straight up, it was, she was a side bitch. He made her <laughs> he made her he made her feel good about herself and <laughs> played her ass basically. Hate to say it like that. That was, that was a low blow, man. Yeah, that was that was uncalled for. How how old is the baby? 20 shit we can look it up real quick i believe he got to be at least 20 20 something bro when he said that shit i said he's still young he is you can tell though but you can tell that, how he been acting this whole since all the the stuff that's been going on you can tell he's only 29 i oh, know nah, he old he, he he knew better than that i was gonna give him the young nigga pass that sounds like some shit i'll say just to hurt your feelings even though it don't you don't mean it but that's some shit I would have said back in the day to hurt your feelings. But do you think that's what it was though? Like he said that to hurt her feelings? Yeah, hell yeah, he yeah. did. I hell said yeah, that he too. Did. But even though she was his side, but he was treating her he see that's the thing. He was treating her like it was his like like he loved her. He and she caught yeah. feelings. I mean, you you moved in, you fucking around. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Y'all more than y'all she on tour with you and shit. You see her post all the she's at the concert and shit. Mm-hmm. She started pulling out know. receipts on his ass. I don't know if you could be a side, a side bitch doing all that. Doing I all mean, that. You, know, you never know. You never know. These days, Everybody. anyway. These oh, days, no. anyway. You know, like, like I said, though, he was wrong for like calling. I mean, the police and all that. You know, that's shit. He posted all on social media for the world to see. It was some feelings there. I don't want to hear that side bitch shit. Mm -hmm. You don't, but not, not no, not no famous nigga. You don't post a side bitch like mm -hmm. that. Mm -hmm. Cause if you if if you didn't care about her, you wouldn't have went through all that social media shit for. Her. Exactly, exactly. You wouldn't have been and doing then, that back I, and forth. This shit, I don't agree with him putting it all on on the on the internet like that. See, when I seen it this morning, I didn't I didn't know nothing about it until I was listening. You know, I wake up listening to Breakfast Club and I heard uh, uh, Angela Yee talking about it, and then I went on. Then I started reading, but it seemed like it all started from her. Wanting to take a Plan B pill because she, I'm guessing she probably thought that she was pregnant or she was trying to prevent prevent it, which you can't so blame she, her. And then again, so if that's your side bitch, why you mad at her taking a Plan B? <laughs> <laughs> Come on, man. I feel it. You hurt. You hurt, dog. That 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 hurt you. Yeah, as a man. and that probably hurt her more than anything. Now that now hurt. we reflect on it because she said it all started from. Uh, her taking a plan B or wanting to take a plan B and then that's when all the shit came off. 
Yeah, I would have been mad as a motherfucker. Yeah, that's that'll piss that'll piss you off. Uh, and then I, I was telling uh, we was in the group chat earlier. I was saying he should have just should have just left, even though that's your condo and shit. Just leave. Mm-hmm. Like you want too much shit right now. Mm-hmm. So now you the part the only part that make him look bad, and I ain't even gonna say it's true, but her saying that he tried to put her out with the baby and shit. If that's true or false, it still look bad. It look bad. Cause you're trying to put your you trying to put your own basically you putting your own child out. And I, I know and I, I I know for a fact, I, I can almost guarantee he he say your baby can stay, you gotta leave. Mm-hmm. I can guarantee you some shit like that. But Her, hey, be, uh, be, it, the baby being a newborn, it's no way in hell she's gonna let that happen. Yeah. So it's it's, it's, it's one of the things if I leave, the baby gotta go too. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> but he did right reporting it and shit. I wouldn't have called the cops and all that, but but you know why he was recording. He was recording trying to protect himself, trying to make sure, yeah. like, like, right from the yeah. you got to. Yeah, like, got to. I ain't put no hands on her. I ain't doing none no, of that. She, <laughs> but I, he was on live this morning. She back at the house. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, supposedly she, I'm guessing that she left and then she came back and then she stayed for a while. And then I read something where, um, just maybe five minutes ago, I seen what they said that she left, and you see her, her brother now uh, coming at him. Man, you better not now. You, you better sit your ass down, boy. Stay out of goddamn business. Yeah, her brother. Her, her brother been sending slugs at him on uh, social media too. As long as I ain't put my hands on her, yes, yeah, all right. See, that's yeah. like that's like even with my family. I don't get in their business. As long as there ain't no hands, ain't involved, no hands touching. Yep. Yeah. Cause y'all go argue and shit. And it's gonna y'all gonna fight on social media, but y'all gonna get back together. Yeah. And then you gonna so, look like the fucking dummy. Look like the jackass <laughs> getting in the business. <laughs> yeah, oh. that, that that's that's a messed up situation. But uh, peace and blessings to you know. Hope those people get healing some somehow, some way. Find a find a way. Maybe um, can't go back to it, nigga. Yeah. <laughs> no matter how no matter how good it was, nigga, you got you can't go back. <laughs> can't go back. So fuck uh, that condo. Let her ass sit in that shit. Just get the fuck on. Cause you already on the no shit. We can move on. Fuck fuck them niggas. <laughs> um We didn't talk about it because we ain't had a chance, but I want to talk about the Kanye interview, man. I um, drink drink? Yeah, I, I I feel like we it's we have to get into that, man. Like the things he was saying on there, a lot of people don't understand it. A lot of people don't don't want to hear it, you know, because they felt like he was just talking all in. And, and rightfully so, he was all over the place. But I mean, it's it's our duty to 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 divulge it. We don't want to get too much into it because it, it was what the last two weeks. Um, but when I say Kanye, his thinking is is a weird genius type thinking. Yeah. He but I, but I, go ahead. Go. No, you go ahead. After after watching and listening to Kanye, after all these antics and shit he been doing, I'm back on his side. I said the same thing. I'm I, back on his side. I told Tamika that too. I said that made me that interview, watching both of them made me like him a little bit more. A little bit more. He didn't he didn't lose touch in who he was or who he became or what he was against or this and that. And some of the shit he was saying in there was true. Like, and I hate to keep, I hate to go to the politics stuff, but about, about him. Why do, why do we as black people feel like we always have to vote Democrat? Why do we feel we have to back these people that ain't doing shit for us? Ain't doing shit for the hood. Ain't doing shit for the community, period. And and but and now when you saying uh, Larry Larry Hoover's son on that, it's like he had a mission. Yeah, <laughs> he had a mission. Like we all saying this motherfucker crazy. crazy. Went on a, but he was doing what he had to do. Yeah, but I will say some of the antics and shit, like 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 hugging on Trump and all that. You don't have to go do all that to to prove your point. Shit, if I know Trump can help me get Larry Hoover. <laughs> <out of hell. laughs> I give that nigga a hug every time I put on that back. <laughs> I see, and then that's why that's why, why I guess now that's why it's good like to get that shit out. Like even though it ain't our business, what the fuck he got on going on, and he don't care. But it's good to know what the fuck you trying to do. Mm-hmm. Try to buzz out the loop. But then again, I guess you can't say that because then it's like 
now the, now the world know what you're trying to yeah. do. But I'm saying it's like yeah. you, 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 it's a lose lose situation. Because they would have probably said, oh, he's selling out, he's selling out to this and that, that bullshit, you know, to that. try to prove to, to, to do something for him, this and that. But I will say the, the the corny thing that I really didn't like was the Big Sean shit. I didn't I didn't I didn't like that. I know you you felt the way about it. You had a different opinion about it, and Tracy did too as well. But go ahead, say your opinion. Cause <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> oh, man, man, you know why well, I go back on it? I need to watch this. I was just gonna watch this Big Sean interview. I need to hear what Big Sean Big Sean well, say. He he made a statement. He did say that that interview was taped before the Kanye interview. So oh, it was the with Wallow and Gilly. Yeah, he said yeah. that was before the drink before they recorded the Drink Champs in, interview. So he said his there's no responses in there or nothing like that. That was taped uh, before. Well, shit, that's what I wanted to listen for. Yeah, I need to hear the scoop. yeah. He said I, he he said the next interview, big interview. He's hope I'm guessing that they thinking that it should be Drink Champs. That's what they thinking. Well, he, you know, he was supposed to be on Drink Champs before Kanye. Uh -huh. So, so I'm, I'm going to wait for that one. But as far as Kanye, I thought he, he don't fuck with him, he don't fuck with him. That's what I Shit. said. That's what I, exactly what I said. But but if, if if what Big Sean said is true, that he was just in his face and didn't say nothing, that's some sucker shit. Yeah. Cause that's it, some sucker shit. Because Big Sean making it seem like shit. We was just together last night. Everybody now you get on here saying some. That's like that's like me and you doing this interview. When I keep saying interview, I'm tripping like a motherfucker. <laughs> that's like me and you doing this podcast, and then I go, on, I wake up in the morning and talk some shit about you. Yeah, like nigga, you just we was just yeah, had y'all on the motherfucker, yeah. all in the face. Yeah, had that shit, but you know, Kanye is a little thought off, so I believe he did do that shit. I like believe that. it too. I believe it too, cause and I had to say, it, but he's like a. Fucking, I don't know how to describe it, but the way he thinks, bro, is motherfucker it, bipolar, man. Yeah, <laughs> motherfucker is bipolar. <laughs> the motherfucker bipolar, cause everybody's saying he's doing that to him. Like, look at look at the Soldier Boy shit. Yeah, they done made up now. He want to make an album with him and this and that shit. Oh. You said I had a sorry verse, nigga, but come on, dude. But you telling me in the text message, my shit is fire. <laughs> Now, but, I know now with that, I know you probably ain't want to hurt his feelings. Yeah, Come I said on. that too. He probably just didn't want to hurt his feelings. But yeah, Soldier well, Boy, I, even even if that was the case, he should have. He it was still other ways of going about that. Like, come on, man. Like, hey, let's redo this. Hey, let's uh, don't send it to me. Come down and let's get in the lab. I want to work with you, or or I'll have another writer write write for you, or something like yeah, that. Yeah, figure something out. If I don't like it, I'm not finna go on drink champs. And I was just texting you and saying your shit was trash. That nigga bipolar for real. <laughs> How do you but deal it, with somebody like that though? That's the that's the thing. That's the, that's the thing. How do you work with somebody like that? I don't even really. You can, but the way it seemed, cause bro, the way his mind was was all over the place. That showed me that his mind is constantly thinking, thinking about the next move, thinking about this and thinking about that. I just think he, he he wanted so much. He he had so much to say. It's just Nori, you know, Nori cut you off. But I will say Nori did good this time. He didn't cut him at off the, like I thought about. Off at the beginning, I'm like, let him talk. Yeah. And he let, let him talk. But it's shit. All the good shit was already gone. Mm -hmm. Kanye wanted to get some shit off his chest. Yeah. And I think Nori was trying to protect him a little bit too. That Nori's smart. He know what he's doing. Nori, Nori know what he's doing. Because did you hear what um Nori said that Kanye didn't have no security with him while they was yep. while they was together doing the interview. But yep. Nori <laughs> hired, hired the interview for uh, hired me hired the security for him. I said, "What the fuck?" No, Nori, Nori ain't running with no chumps. Mm 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 mm. Some some some, some you got them uh, Dominicans behind his ass. <laughs> all that be, yeah. yeah, but over I haven't I'm haven't fully watched part two yet. But somebody said that part two was it was okay. It wasn't as good as the first one. It was more so of uh, Larry Hoover. Larry uh, Hoover. Son. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. And so see, it was big. And even with that, Kanye kind of, you could tell Larry Hoover's son was like, this nigga's crazy. <laughs> <laughs> he, started, he, he started talking about the lawyer and shit. So he had to go and clear it up. Like, yeah, we we, we, we didn't fire the lawyer. The, the, the lawyer. 
we just hired somebody else to come help him. But Kanye <laughs> started talking shit about the lawyer and oh, shit. I was like, come on, hey. bro. Yeah, come yeah, on, yeah. Come on, man. Um, yeah, nigga thought, but to, to hear Kanye talk like that, it's like, this nigga, he's still, he's still part of the community. Yeah, he's still one of us. He's so, still one of us. When, you all hear people talk, you think, like, this nigga so far gone. He, he got that Kardashian shit in him. now. Kanye's still a nigga. All that boy and all that nigga. Yeah, I like that. I like that. Boy, you it, can't count too many boys. He, 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 he tripped me out and he took a hit of the blunt. I said, oh, yeah, this nigga back. Yeah, I, I said, Kanye, this nigga back. still part of the community. But you know what's he crazy? Still- I didn't know Biggs had been managing him this whole time still. I didn't know that either. I didn't know that either. I always thought it was I, cool. I thought I knew him and Jay Z was back talking, but I didn't know they still been talking this whole time. This whole time, yeah, I didn't know that either. You can see it though because I hate to say it, but I don't like we said a long time ago. Uh, Jay is a nigga that you know he don't want a lot of shit to be known. Don't want a lot of yeah. shit to be said about him. He don't want his name behind a lot of shit. But he make moves and, and behind closed doors that a lot of people ain't gonna appreciate. And you seen what? That, that's what Kanye said on. That's what he said on there. Like Jay Z, he got a different way about going about that. Mm-hmm. Yeah, but it was yeah, a good Jay- interview, man, man. Good interview. I, I love. Keep- I just love the fact that he's back, bro. Well, I ain't gonna say he's back. I don't want to jump the gun, but I don't it- think he ever left. We just we just didn't know what the fuck he had going on. Yeah, that's true. But the way he's talking. Uh, how he was talking about uh my favorite part was when he was talking about uh Kim uh, Kim Kardashian publicist or uh, whoever the lady. <laughs> he don't is. like, like that bitch. Oh, <laughs> he yeah. don't like that bitch. <laughs> yeah, he don't like that bitch. He said, "Hey, yeah. this this you, you you could tell he wanted to call a, 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 a yeah. call out a name." He said, "Hey, this woman want my this and do this and that." I'm like, "Oh shit, he finna go off on her." <laughs> Hey, y'all ain't controlling nothing over here, boy. I didn't think of talking to Hey, I'm telling you, I, I'm back on Kanye West's side, man. I, I know you do a little crazy shit, and people don't understand his way of thinking, but I'm fucking with Kanye right now. And honestly, bro, he, I hate to say it too, but he, he really is sick. You could tell. You, I ain't even gonna say sick. He just got a lot going on. Motherfuckers don't understand them, and it's, it's frustrating trying to get somebody to understand you that that's not understanding you. You but know what I'm saying? That's the thing. Are we supposed to understand them? Because we. We we I hate to say like we not on his level of thinking or his his level of of of, of, of seeing things. People like that, you really don't understand them at all. They don't want you to understand them. Leave his ass alone. Yeah, he's he's trying to. We want him to explain some shit that he's not. He's really not that smart to. He's not a like, how you say it, articulate enough. Okay, I got you. And he can't read and all that. Well, he's not there to read and all that shit. Just let him go. We just need to leave Kanye the fuck alone. Yeah, man. <laughs> we do. <laughs> we I mean, do. I, you know, I, I don't believe in everything he do, but I, I think he knows what he's doing. Yeah, and I think that was a big misconception. Like, he need help. Somebody need to uh, yeah. guide, his, guide his life and help him with yeah. his money and all that stuff. Nah, he know what he doing. He just moving at a, at a different pace and a different angle than a lot of these other people out here. But the shit he said was true. Like, he don't need to buy a home. He can go anywhere and mm-hmm. everything is on him. Your money ain't no good here. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So, yeah. I agree with him on that. Nigga say, I, I, got in a, I got in a text message with Ho, uh, somebody else said, I'm, I'm, I'm worth more than all of y'all. <laughs> yeah, I knew shit in that interview, dog. He was popping his shit, boy. <laughs> he was popping his shit in that interview. You think him and Drake will do the concert? Yes, in time. I don't think now. It's too soon. Nah, I think I think it's, nah, I think they're finna do it. You Drake gonna so? do whatever Jay Prince say. Yeah, he, I mean, <laughs> Jay Prince is daddy. Yeah, basically he is. He that nigga daddy. <laughs> yeah, yeah. He gonna do whatever Jay Prince say. And so I, it's going- I, I, his respect level for Jay Prince is just at a different level. It's like he don't see him. He don't. I mean, we don't know what's going on behind closed doors, but we don't. He don't see Jay Prince as a. He see Jay Prince as a person that's always gonna steer him the right way. Yeah, I, I would be anxious to see that 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 concert though. If it if it ever happens, I would love to see that. What's up, Debo Samuel? Man, yeah. come on, dog. I'm looking at that. <laughs> um, <laughs> I had to play Benny this week, y'all. He, he got he. Got... <laughs> um, 
Speaking of concerts, um, let's go ahead and get into Travis Scott. So, as everybody know, Travis Scott, um, you know, he hosts a festival every year. Well, the last three years, I think it's been called Astro World in Houston. And, you know, um, it was just crazy, crazy as hell this time around. Like, people lost their lives. Condolences out to the, the 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 children and the the young teens that uh, lost their law life in that situation. It was bad. <clears throat> um, nobody ever want to see their kids, you know, pass in those situation like that. <clears throat> so, what you think? Sad. It's sad. You know, I hate that he's getting the, the blame for all this because. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Bro, you remember when we were supposed to go to this shit? Yep. We was, I, I, told, I told one of my homeboys at work, I said, bro, we were supposed to have been trying to go to this. Nah, it's just, it's a sad case. I, I don't like him getting the blame. Uh, Live Nation or whoever else. Live uh, Nation? His partner, Live Nation. To speak up. He, he taking a rap for this, and I think, man, it might be over for him. You think that? It might be over for him. Well... <laughs> Unless he go fucking uh, he 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 move his money around and go bankrupt or some shit. <laughs> yeah, and it's crazy like, be- because they was making it. I mean, you see all these videos and stuff, and they saying that that he knew what was going on and this and that. Just because you see them ambulance, them lights in the in the crowd, don't mean you know what's going on fully, man. I seen the video where they got on there, and I guess it was the light man. They was trying to tell him to stop the show. Yeah. That nigga needs to get in trouble. Yeah. You looking at the people there, you closer to him. Yeah. Yeah. I don't like how he, I know it's, I know it's his event and everything. I just don't like how they doing, how they doing that dude, man. And on top of that, it later came out and said he didn't even have the authority to freaking cancel the sh- to stop the show. The, um, the, di- whoever, they said the uh, producer of, um, something and the uh the live nation director are the only two people who have the rights to stop the show see live nation uh, and they that live nation is not saying nothing at all have you ever been in a packed concert like that i'm scared of those well, I'm, I'm scared bro be honest with you i don't, I don't fuck with festivals i want to go but i'm scared if i go i said I, I would have to be like in the vip section in the cabana or something by myself bro see i was thinking about that I was thinking of like what was what was the environment I was in when something like that happened, and the only thing I think about was Sixth Street, and when we used to go on Sixth Street, and when they uh like after a Longhorns game, mm-hmm. and uh I think it's called a Stampede Run or some shit where everybody just take off running. Oh shit, bro! If your back end against that wall and you get trampled, it's over. I I seen somebody go down. They ain't they ain't die. Yeah, <laughs> they went down and they had. <laughs> They was out of there. They was out of there. So I can imagine 10 times that many people doing some shit like that. It's a wrap. It's a wrap. My my anxiety went up just looking at the video. Mm-hmm. I can't even imagine being in a place like that. If we go to some shit like that now, I'm standing way in the back. Well, so that's what I was going to tell you. One of the dudes in my cohort, he a big Travis Scott fan, 18 years old. He went Friday and Saturday. So he was there firsthand, and he told me, it started off bad with that morning with the merchandise. So that morning, they said he said he got up about 4 a.m. to go to the um, the merchandise line, and he said you can tell then it was gonna be a bad weekend. He said because yeah. it was just people everywhere. It was no particular lines. It wasn't no. It wasn't organized enough basically. And he was saying that NRG and Live Nation wasn't prepared for it or something. And that's that's another thing they said. Uh... People was out there all day. Mm-hmm. Like they open the doors at 10, 10 that mm-hmm. morning and concert ain't start to 10 that night. Mm-hmm. He said it and he told me right before he said it took like an hour, an hour and a half before Travis even got on stage. Because basically his stage was empty. The stage that Travis performed on was empty, but everybody else was on the at the other uh stage watching whoever was the last performer there. So everybody mm-hmm. had to Go back to the walk to the other main stage where oh. Travis was, oh. and he yeah. said that he was in the front, and he said they made an announcement said that Travis would be on in five minutes, and he looked and realized like, oh shit, I'm too close, so he moved to the back, 
him, his girl, and uh, a couple of his other friends. And he told me, he's a tall dude. He like six, six, six. But he was like, bro, I, he was leaving. You was seeing people uh, get CPR and all that, bro. I was like, oh, shit, bro. Nigga just suffocated, man. And I feel sorry for that nine-year-old boy. They say anything else about him? Nah. I, oh, wait. I think I did see some, but I don't know exactly what it was saying, though. I did see some on Instagram. I don't want to put no false information out there, but I did see some on Instagram where they said something about him. Now, so my, my question is, What's the age limit you send you you take your child to something like that a festival? Shit, I, I thought about it. My daughter, how old is Zalea? Fucking twelve. I we I took my I took Zalea to the Chris Brown concert at the AT and T. But concert and at, festival that's two different things. But I thought about uh, we was gonna take her to the Rod Wave. Oh, for real. Yeah, that was out. That's like a, ain't no, nah, ain't like no festival. But it was a lot of people there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I thought about Zalia like shit like that. But now, man, uh, you know, even if I do go to some shit like that, I ain't gonna be in the mix no way. You know, mm -hmm. I'm in the corner somewhere, mm -hmm. tucked. Out. Or you get in the goddamn <laughs> VIP section or some shit where you. Nah, hell, not in VIP for shit. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I ain't that kind of nigga, man. I ain't blowing that money. <laughs> I just be in the back cooling, man. My phone zoom in very well. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I was I was telling Tamika shit. I don't even know if I'm. I feel scared going to a damn festival now. Yeah, man. Say, I, I'm telling you, I'll be. Yeah, I'll be somewhere. I can, I can make a quick uh, exit. And I ain't. I ain't, I ain't been all up under the stage. Yeah, I don't like that shit. Niggas ain't gonna be pushing me around. Ain't like nobody jumping shit. over me. I don't like that. I need. Shit. My like a motherfucking uh, like they like they used to do them fucking mosh pits or whatever. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. I, they, don't, I don't like that shit. Fuck out of here, man. I don't like being tackled in a, in a football game and being at the bottom of the pond. <laughs> <laughs> that's, only, <laughs> that's only four five niggas on you, man. <laughs> so you want them yeah. niggas? So you want them niggas when they come time to play the pillow fight, nigga? Don't don't try to suffocate me with the pillows, nigga. I, well, mean, I, do, I ain't never even did a pillow fight. I don't think. <laughs> I wish Mike would try to suffocate me with anything. Then you push the fuck out of it up. Yeah, I, don't, I don't even get put in them type of situation, nigga. I don't even see the cover over my head, nigga. <laughs> fuck that. <laughs> he ain't gonna suffocate me, man. Yeah, I ain't shit. Hey, yeah. the, the satisfaction. You try to close that shit while you sleep, nigga. You out of there. <laughs> mm, I, 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 <laughs> um, fuck that. What else? What we got? Um, so as as we are on Travis, though, you see where um, Nike is postponing his release. Man, they they doing bad. Man, I'm telling you, they said they postponing his. Um, I guess the release of his shoes he's supposed to have come out this this week or this month. It, it's some air matches. You see, you see the people throwing them in the trash. Oh come on, man! I call cap though. Ain't nobody throwing they they, they, they throwing them, them in there and getting them throwing them in there and getting them bitches out. Yeah. <laughs> I see I seen one day he put him at the top of the trash, like he don't support Jarvis Scott. I said that's cap. Then I seen another dude, he was like taking all the gear off and he's throwing them like over this balcony. I said that shit going right to the floor, man. You going right down there and picking that shit up. <laughs> cap ass nigga. <laughs> I think I don't give a fuck about you throwing that shit away, nigga. You already spent you your already money. spent your money. <laughs> already got mine. And you fuck with you. On, that nigga? on top of that, nigga, you could go ahead and uh, resell that bitch and get some money back plus. Uh, you losing, you dumbass. Mm -hmm. Like somebody buying an extraordinary gentleman's shirt and throwing it somewhere. <laughs> I don't give a fuck. <laughs> I already got your money. <laughs> nigga, you spent the money already, you dumb. Uh, <laughs> That's your point, <laughs> dumbass. What else? It was but something yeah, else I, that happened I, with I, Travis, man. It's going to be hard for him to bounce back for this one, man, especially with everybody. Oh, you see all these lawyers uh, asking people, was they there and shit? Well, the the messed up part is is that now the way I see it going is now anybody that was there they can file a lawsuit, regardless of or not if you hurt or not. You could say you hurt, like oh yeah, my my back hurt or some shit like that. Oh, that's a lawsuit. We can get some money from them. Man, they they go drag this or not, man. But I tell you what, if I'm Travis, bro, after I get all these lawsuits, I'm I'm suing the fuck out of Live Nation, bro. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. I, yeah. I am, bro. Live Nation, NRG, 
uh, whatever, whoever else was supposed to be in charge of making sure that everything was set up good and making sure that everything was 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 on point to protect. They said they said an insurance policy was only twenty million, right? Yep. So now they saying the lawsuits is they uh lawsuits gonna be well over a billion. Well, I would say that twenty million is gone is gone back to the refunds, the people that getting their refunds probably. Cause everybody that got a ticket Friday and Saturday got their refund. Yeah, man, that's I don't know, Benny. I think I think he might be done. I don't know. I hope not, though, bro. I I really do. Cause Travis made good music, man. Man, I try to figure out how to put that money somewhere. Stash it. <laughs> put it in the stash house. <laughs> cause, uh, Cause Kylie Jenner was an investor too in it. Oh, she was. Yeah, oh, you ain't shit. see the list. So she was one of the uh, what the sponsors? Oh. One of the sponsors in. Shit, I didn't know that. Fuck. Yeah. better try to move money. Yeah, y'all can't get this. Yeah, y'all can't touch this. <laughs> yeah, nah, that's what I'm saying. They go bankrupt, nigga. Y'all got them lawsuits, nigga. I, was, whew, I know it's ways around it. Yeah, it's gotta be. I, I to, I, but what pissed me off? Of, what pissed me off about Kylie though, bro? Is that when it came out that you know it started coming out who was all there and this and that and they said oh yeah Kylie Jenner was Kylie Jenner was um, was there but in um, what you say in, in her private um, uh, uh, private area why the hell y'all worried about her for y'all know damn well she wasn't in no goddamn crowd Come well on. you know but then they, I don't I don't like how they doing him they uh, edited him out the show who that's it's Travis Scott. Oh, so they taking him off the show too? Yeah, they editing that nigga off the show. <laughs> oh like, shit, man, they they fucking him over. I didn't know they was. <laughs> they fucking him over. I didn't know man. they. I didn't know they was taking him off the show. They edited a lot of them. They they said they edited him, editing him out the show. Oh, well. So I, supposedly he had a show in what, Saudi Arabia, and they was well. They just kept all in. Yeah, five point five million, bro. Five point five. Bag is gone. I was already counting that money. If I was tra- well, he probably already he wasn't counting. But a nigga like me, I'm counting that already. Now nah, he probably was banking on that Astro World and money, money coming back, bro. I know he was, bro. That's a lot of money he finna lose off that Astro World festival. Seen that man? It might be time to go on sell that and shit, lay low. The the get a pimp. You look at it more, and you say, "Now he'll probably never be able to perform, never do do that uh, festival again, nowhere. At least not Shit. in Texas." If I was him, I start playing the motherfucking. Uh, I start playing the role. Hey man, I got motherfucker. I'm traumatized. Mm-hmm. 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 PTSD. Yeah, yeah, man. I'm going. Hey, shit. <laughs> I'm mentally ill right now. <laughs> Fuck that. <laughs> Out of this, man. They doing that dude wrong, man. I see they even came up to drink. Yeah. I, and see, I didn't see that until later on. Until, um, and they trying to get everybody. They said, uh, but I seen some, well, a lot of them people that perform during the festival are donating their money to the, um, uh, the I guess the the injured people or the, and the families that lost, they yeah. lost someone. <clears throat> Cause he said he paying for the funerals. Yeah, he said he would pay for all the funerals, which is, I mean, I hate to say it, but that's, I mean, you know that they lost somebody, yeah, but you know you still want to. I know he probably hurting, bro, like bad. Yeah, I'm telling you, man, I playing that card, shit, I'm fucked up. Mm-hmm. No, yeah, you know I feel sorry for him. It's like, what more do y'all want him to do? Like, can he really control that crowd? Nope, he can't control. He, he can't control none of that shit, bro. What if he would have stopped performing and ended the show? Ooh. Same results. They would have. They would have. They would have rioted that motherfucker, bro. It would have been worse, probably. Uh, again, it, it ain't that big of a platform, but I uh, who was it? Rick Ross. Rick Ross was at Cowboys. That's a big venue, and that nigga was taking all day to come out. <laughs> they start getting they rioted. Start Man, they start throwing shit from the top up and down. Like I say, man, best thing you do is get your back against the wall. But they was outside, so I don't even know what the fuck they did. <laughs> <laughs> right. 
He couldn't even perform. They, he had to let Zero and Trey perform. For real? And that was just because he came out late. Yeah. That nigga let Zero and Trey rock the show. That's how long ago that was. That was at Cowboys. Oh, so this must have been like Teflon Don uh, Ross or some shit. I don't even remember what songs he performed, but I was in that bitch. Damn. And he he took took forever to come out. The <laughs> crowd got a little antsy in that motherfucker. We know zero. This is around the time that uh, what's the what's the last album they put out? Zero and Trey. Uh, the last album they put out together. Together, yeah. They did. They they pretty much did that whole album. Oh, um, fuck. I know what you're talking about. I can't think of the name of it right now, but I do know what you're talking about. They pretty much performed all the top songs off that album. And Rick Ross let them do it. <laughs> they was booing. They was letting this ass happen. Anybody was at that concert, y'all know. Rick Ross. Damn. San Antonio was ass that night. That's crazy. <laughs> Nigga. Hey, but... Hey, can you be mad at somebody though? Hey, I spent my hard on money and motherfucker don't oh, want to motherfucker don't want to perform. Too. Motherfucker, you better break your ass out here one way or another, I nigga. Too. I might have threw a bottle. You didn't ain't gonna say that. <laughs> I ain't throw that. <laughs> Just come down here, better have y'all shit together, man. You ain't playing that shit in the crowd. You better break your ass out. Bring your ass to my yonder, nigga. Bring your ass to my yonder, nigga. I'm gonna get whoop your Don't ass. Let your ass out. <laughs> yeah, All right, I ain't throwing nothing. <laughs> <laughs> Man, it was crazy that night. So I can only imagine. I, I I can't imagine being outside with all them people, frustrated. Uh. But Talking yeah, that, con- man. Con- condolences to all the people that got that lost in the Astro World Fe- Festival and uh, Travis Scott. Keep your head up. This too shall pass over, hopefully, brother. Yeah, man. I, I just lay low for about a year or two. I'm getting off social media, everything, just shit. Y'all ain't seen me. He, I'm and he, and he, he haven't been on social media either now. I mean, well, he, I, he, he wasn't on it like that regardless. Yeah, that's true, too. He really wasn't. He better go to fucking Kanye Ranch in uh, Wyoming. <laughs> just, just, uh, um, what else we got? Uh, did you see where uh, this shit is old, but uh, Splashdown closing. How you feel about that? I ain't give a fuck. I ain't never liked Splashdown. I never liked Nate, it either. I never liked it. Fuck Splash. Nay, Nay was irritated because she worked there. I never liked the motherfucker. To me, used to but get she, mad at me because I she's always wanting to go, but I ain't never want to go that motherfucker. Yeah, fuck Splashdown. Motherfucker. <laughs> 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 That's about to go. Well, <laughs> I passed by there yesterday, motherfucker. I got in with her free pass. What'd she say? I used to get in with her free pass. Her free pass. <laughs> what they you say? Uh, you bring the sprite can, you get in, get in half off, and this and that. I think nobody ever did that shit. Nah, I did. I, I did. Uh, me and my partner, Little Mike and Quinn, we used to go. We used to take them cans up there. I, I did that shit. But it was did it, true. Did it work or was it true? That's what I was just going to ask. It worked. It, that, was, that was real deal. So what the hell they doing with all them damn fucking empty cans? Just trashing them hoes or what? They probably recycling them bitches shit. They going to sell them hoes. <laughs> 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 what the fuck else you going to do with them, man? She can't throw them in the trash. <laughs> they throw them bitches and going to sell them. <laughs> um, but but uh, they so. Yeah, it's gonna be a uh, uh, a car lot. Yeah, supposedly what I was just gonna say a, a Cavender Cadillac or something. They're supposed to be bringing jobs to the east side. That's gonna be a big ass car lot though. If that mug is gonna take over that whole spot, that's gonna be a big ass car lot. How many people from the east side will get hired at that place? None. None at all. None. That's what that's what I was telling they ain't, they ain't hiring nobody from the fucking ain't east side. Nobody from the east side. And if but anything, if anything, they gonna bring some. They gonna bring somebody from a, another Cavender Cadillac. Bring them over there to train, and then do the same thing. Rotation. Keep them uh, hiring them people that they want to hire. Yeah, they bringing in the out of town motherfuckers that are already working. They mm-hmm. hire, hire within. Yep, you know that's how it go. Hire within and promote within. And I mean, basically, they, that's all they gonna do. Uh, what new music you been listening to? 
Yeah, I'm on my phone. Uh, I ain't even been listening. I, you know what I like? I like the key Glock. I was listening to that. Hey, somebody told me one of them songs on there is hard. I haven't, I haven't listened to it yet, but they said they got a, he got a couple blank bangers on there. He got a lot of bass in this shit. You know, I like that bass. Oh, you, I, like, you like that eight oh eight shit, nigga. <laughs> But rocking like a motherfucker, though. <laughs> <laughs> what uh, a- nah, shit, that's it. Just that key Glock, man. I know I'm missing something. Uh, what else? I've, I've, I, I haven't looked. To that, what's her name? Summer Walker? Oh, yeah. You, you listen to it? I tried. It ain't for me. It ain't your cup of tea? Nah, I ain't got time for that shit. Honestly, you get it, may be, it was only I, maybe one or two songs on there that I really, really liked. I don't like the message Come, <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> like the messages she sent it to our women. The um, I only like like one or two songs, but you heard the the new raw song. The uh, yeah, yeah, what's it called? Uh, uh Outlaws. Talk- Outlaws. Yeah, Outlaws. Yeah, Outlaws with Jasmine Sullivan uh, and uh, Twenty One Savage. Twenty One, yeah. Hey, I'm ready for 21 to drop something else. Well, I, he been he been on a lot of features lately, so I don't know That's if all. he, I don't know if he really even focusing on doing anything on his own or what. I, got to You always working on something. Always working on something. He need to drop though. Because like, to me, I like he 21. had the, he had the best verse on that. Uh, Who won't smoke? You heard the remix? Yeah. <laughs> Everybody talking about uh, what's that Chicago nigga name? G Herbo. G Herbo. Everybody said he had the better verse, but 21 killed that hoe. 21 is underrated, bro. He don't, yeah. he don't, he don't, and I don't know if it's because he don't do social media a lot and all that stuff, but I know he's very underrated with his lyrics. What about that uh Big Shine? Hey, Gangsta shit I don't know. I ain't I ain't listened to it yet. I I know was a big Shine fan, so I ain't even gave, gave him the ear yet. I listened to it. It's pretty good. It's just a little EP. Little, I think it's a four pack, five pack, something like that. It's pretty cool. I'm gonna check. He talking about Kanye on there? Nah, well, no right. Nah, thought they was cool. Nah, yeah. I was just gonna say he thought they was cool. <laughs> they was cool, buddy. I was never on a big song wave. Um, uh, let's see. Uh, that Wale. I like the song that he got with uh. I haven't listened to the whole album, but that song he got with uh, what's her name from Memphis, from Houston. They uh, did the spill be right? Yeah, uh Maxo. Down South. Maxo. Yeah, Max, yeah, they, they, I like that song. Down South with uh Yellow Beezy and Maxo. Oh, yeah, yeah. I like that song. Uh what else came out? What, uh what the album sound like? I like it. A lot did you of, look at his His what? His drink counts. I I started, I haven't finished it, but I it's a good conversation so far, bro. Yeah, he, he be irritating me, man. Why like, they? Why? Cause it's the way he act. He act like he. Yeah. yeah. I know. You know, I uh, me, well, me and they, me, Nay, and her cousin. I think we went to Vegas, and we seen him in there. And I just ain't like. I don't like that motherfucker. I know he's anti-social. Yeah, he is. But something about the but meaner, he, so something about he act him like he he act always. like he act like he better than everybody else. Like he ain't got time for nobody. That's 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 exactly how he act. Yeah. And I don't know if he mean to act that way. I just don't like like. Y'all knock your ass off, Wale. That's how he always have act too, which is not a good good thing if you trying. And to... And that was no, but now that I he's I've been seeing his interviews all week. I'm like, this motherfucker. It's like he's cocky, but he's like arrogant. Oh, I can't explain it, which just rubs me the wrong way. I just don't like it. Like an arrogant ass son of a bitch. That's basically what it is. <laughs> um, what else came out? Uh oh, uh Bruno and uh. What's that song called, bitch? What's the name of that song? Which one? That Bruno Mars where you say something about bitch. Um, <laughs> it's like an old school video. Um, smoking out the window. Smoking out yeah, the right? window. Yeah, it, it, it's uh, <laughs> Bruno is a fool, bro. <laughs> hey, I like. I fuck with him. He, he dropped the album. It's already out. Yeah, the album came out with uh, uh-huh. him and Anderson Pack. It got nine tracks I- on there. How it sound? Oh, I love it. It don't sound it's like it don't sound like nothing today. You know, Bruno is is, is yeah. a seventies, eighties type. He bringing that back, but he's very creative in the the way he hear music. I fuck with him. That nigga do coke. 
Nobody gonna say do that white girl, but he do it. <laughs> I fuck with him. But you know that's that's what that's what was in in the seventies. Shit, that's all them niggas did. That nigga want to party. Yeah, I'm here ready to party. But you know <laughs> for the party. What's funny when you listen to the album, listen to the song called uh, "Blast Off." So there's a song on there called "Blast Off," and Tamika was like, "Wait, is he talking about getting high?" <laughs> I said, uh, "I don't know." I listen to, I'm gonna listen to that tomorrow when I jump back on the road. That motherfucker's called "Blast Off," bro. He he say, "Let's go to the moon." <laughs> okay, bro. <laughs> Bruno you know said, "Let's go to the mood." <laughs> I was ready to party. Okay, I like to see niggas on that shit, man. That's feeling good, and it ain't for me, but I like to see niggas. I want to party with. Um, party yet? I said, "Okay, I see what type of time did you?" What else? Um, let's do two more. Let's do two of these questions. Um. Have your have your car ever been broken into? My car? Yeah. Hell yeah. Shit. <laughs> Every so, last one of them. For real? <laughs> Hell yeah. Damn. Every my head got broken too. That shit. Every car. Bro. How, and it be it be a crazy shit. I know my car still uh my car right now still fucked up. Me and Spink went to Atlanta. We went to the, the last time we went to the Falcons game. I drove down there. We just dry jumped up and went down there. Let me tell you about that shit. Me and Spink ain't had no tickets to the game or nothing. We just dry, oh, jumped come up. On, bro. Yeah. I went to Atlanta. It was uh, the matter of fact, it was the last game. The year the Falcons went to the Super Bowl, it was the last game in the Georgia Dome. And me and Spink just jumped up. I said, fuck it, we'll get some tickets down there. Ah, yeah, we ah, ah, we got some, we got some good ass seats, and that was a crazy story too. We went to the lady house; it was dark and shit, man. We got we got killed. For we really? Got killed. Yeah, but somebody tried to break in my shit at the hotel. Oh shit! My lock is still fucked up. It's like somebody tried to uh, they had the screwdriver in my shit. So they they got me up there, man. I ain't got shit in my car. Yeah, I yeah. I nothing, but they my lock still fucked up right now from that shit. Damn. I know, I know. When I was staying in them apartments over there, the um, the ones by the airport, and this was during the time my fucking car bro, my uh, when I had the the, the little Chevy, the motherfucker was that y'all stayed in. Yeah, you know they stole my car from out there. For real? Yeah. Oh shit! <laughs> they stole my shit from right there. Oh shit! Oh shit, bro! Hell no. But That's the worst fit coming out. And I came out to the the windows broke. That's the worst fit. That shit just suck. Nigga, well, nigga, it pissed me off because nigga, I seen the niggas fucking walking. And I, I thought I locked my doors. Cause they look, you could tell when some niggas look like some little niggas thinking that they finna do something. So I locked mm-hmm. my doors and I went and parked in my spot. Nigga. But I had to go. I had to go to the store for my Amy, and I went back to the house, and I didn't park back in the spot. And I and after then, you know, you don't see them niggas. They was gone or whatever, nigga. I woke up the next morning, nigga. The motherfuckers stole all my fucking CDs. I'm a car, nigga. You know me, nigga. I'm a music head. And back then, nigga, I had the real actual CDs, nigga. Nigga took all my shit, nigga. I was mad, in the motherfucker, nigga. Only got- left, nigga left me with one fucking CD, and it was a motherfucking uh. Uh, some bullshit, nigga. A mixed bullshit CD, nigga. I had to bump that shit. <laughs> that's, that's funny, man. They got me in front of my mama house. They got my hundred pack CD case. You know, I used to have the bitches too. <laughs> a lot of my bootleg though. Yeah, yeah. But the only they, the only CD they left in there, and I had that bitch for years with the comedian that greatest hits. <laughs> that's the only CD I had left in my car. They got me for that hundred pack. I had that big ass black case. I used to put the CD covers in there. So man, I had that shit lazy. Stole the camera and shit. That's the only time I took a real hit. What the, niggas stole, the, niggas, the, niggas stole the change out of my motherfucking car. <laughs> 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 oh, niggas stole shit. The, uh, that car shit don't phase me though. I remember one time, uh I forgot who I think it was Slim Thug. They had broken his car. And he was like, uh 
you know, I don't even get mad or shit like that. That's what the insurance for. It was just my day. Everybody got their day to get got. Mm-hmm, it was mm-hmm. just my day. Mm-hmm. I'm like, God damn, they be getting me a lot. Mm-hmm. When he said that, fuck, that's a, that's how I look at shit, man. Like it was just my day, fuck. It. Cause back then, nigga, I was pissed off, but I was like, eh. The only thing that really pissed me off was that I think I think I had just got that Watch the Throne album, and they took. I was listening to that motherfucker, so them motherfuckers pushed the eject. Had enough time to push the eject button out the motherfucking CD player. <laughs> and you as soon as you port, they motherfucker hit the eject button on my shit, bro. I was like, oh no, I had just got, I had just made a fresh copy of that motherfucker too. But, I don't get mad at shit, but man, you ever had your house broken into? Uh, when I was when I was little. Somebody broke into the uh, where my grandma stayed at and stole my damn Nintendo sixty four. Man, <laughs> now that's a, that's, that's, that's a bad feeling. That's the worst feeling ever. I've been, well, I ain't gonna say I've been robbed, but when I was little, they broke in, they broke in the house and, and robbed my mom and my stepdaddy. I, we was laying on the couch. All they was yelling was "Don't shoot the kids" and shit. That shit still live with me. But to have your house broken to as an adult when it's your shit, yeah, that's violation, bro. Bro, that's the worst shit ever. Violation, bro. That's the worst shit ever. I, I think what that's the worst thing you can do. That shit happened like three or four times. Soon. Let me see that. Oh, well, well, it was one time in Callahan. That was, I, you know, I. that was the maintenance, man. We found that out. Oh, yeah, when I was in that apartment. Yeah. Yeah, that, that nigga pawned the shit. But when they got us in uh in Sunrise, and they took oh, a nigga yeah, shoot. yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, you was no, hurt, nigga. Man. You was, was hurt. You was hurt. Oh. I I ain't cried in years, man. I wanted to cry. It was, yeah. I ain't care about nothing else in that fucking house. Them niggas took my shoes. Yeah. <laughs> Trust me, dog. You know the first time, cause the first time they went in there, the first time they got in there, they they moved all the shit. It was a vacant house next door. They moved everything over there. So I'm like, we got the shit back. That's when nigga wised mm-hmm. up and got that insurance. Mm-hmm. When they came back. Man, I went. We I left with the stage baseball game broad daylight. Came back and they got this time. The shoes was gone. Mm. That shit make your heart drop, bro. Seventy six pair of shoes, dog. That shit make your heart drop, bro. It's left the boxes. <laughs> <laughs> mm, come on, bro. Give me the boxes, man. Come on, bro. You might as well take the nah. fucking boxes too, nigga. Man, man, I, well, they they was the last time they the first time they took the box. This time, like, dump the shoes in the trash bag, leave the boxes. That's get uh-huh. the fuck on down. Shit, hell no. That shit that broke like my that heart. Piss, about the off, jury man. and they jury, none of that shit. She will be mad at that one, but I don't care about my shoes. Damn, bro, that shit heartbreaking, it, bro. Why do I? I just, they, it, they, left, they left the best shoes though. They left the fucking cool grays. <laughs> George started making that box, nigga. That box a little. You take a minute to get in that cool gray box. The eleven box. <laughs> they, that's the only thing they left me, dog. Violation at its finest, man. Niggas have been violated, nigga. Like I said, when that nigga, when, when I, nigga, and it was so cold because it. Whoever whoever stole my Nintendo sixty four, my damn grandma didn't even know they took it, nigga. They must have came into the shit while I was at school or something, nigga. That's that's what man uh, when they when they got us on Callahan, me and Stave went to go get a haircut and came back. I didn't know the niggas broke in. I didn't know they broke in. Mm-hmm. Laying in the bed, this nigga come in the room talking about where the Xbox at. <laughs> nigga in the living room. What the fuck you talking about? <laughs> so I look up and I see my dresses move. It's like I'm up. It's crazy. The TV is straight ahead. The dress is like catapulted, and I see the dress is moved. I said, "Oh, these niggas done. We've been at home about an hour already. <laughs> I never knew. Fuck I ain't nah, even bro. looked that way. Dress the food. They came through my room, through my window, dog. Yeah, bro. That's violation. That's fine. Bed. I didn't. I didn't know they broke in to stay. Said, "What game at? Shit. And he was little. Stave had to be like four or five. We went to go get a haircut real quick. Shit. Niggas um, got us. Yeah, man. It's 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 it's, it's heartbreaking when a nigga steal something from you, bro. For real nigga. That it's, it, it, it's when they steal something, but when they when they get you for your for, for your prize, mm-hmm. man. That shit. I tell you, man, I want to cry. When them niggas got them shoes, dog, I wanted to cry like a motherfucker. Shit. 
And, yeah. You know, insurance fuck you over. They only want to give you retail. Wanna, yeah, I was just want to say they don't want to give you retail. They tell they you give to get you, that fucking insurance, and then you can't even get the money back for that shit. They give you retail, then they tax you on the retail. <laughs> it's like what the fuck? It's a dirty game. Um, what else oh, we fuck. got? Uh, I need. That's a good. What you been I'm watching? Like, BMF, I need. I'm finna go in there and catch up on the last episode right now. Eh, I ain't too much like it. What? Th- this episode. Oh, I thought you were talking about BMF the show. Period. I said, oh, no, 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 no. The show is. I love the show, but this last episode, I didn't too much like it. It's what is? Is it because they already ruined it? What you mean? Like you know, it's been leaked already. This episode, episode seven, right? Yeah, episode six. It came out last week. Well, Star- it, it came. Stars released it, but I didn't see it. Okay, but that I, I stayed off the internet because I didn't want to see it. Yeah. So when I first watched it, I was like, okay, but it just I felt like episode six should have been after seven, if that makes sense. They should have switched I'm- six and seven. Six. Damn. Was- so now I'm be looking for it. Six is Wait. so good that I felt like they should have, they should have, they should have saved that episode. Is this episode like off the wall? Like it's just like everywhere? Not really. A lot of talking. It got you get some action, but you a, a lot. It's not. It didn't lay the foundation for next week to be the final episode. It didn't lay no fi- no foundation for it to be a finale next week. So, cause you know, this the episode. This is the episode seven. Is the one that Fifty Cent directed mm-hmm. itself. Mm-hmm. So it's like, is he not good of a director? Is that what it well, is? The, I would say the director is just mainly the camera. The camera. I just don't feel like the writing was good for this episode. Oh, put it like oh. that. You know me. I'm looking at it from a deeper perspective, but yeah. it just Fucking wasn't. Up. It, it should have. They should have flip flop six and seven. Cause I tell you what, six is the best episode. Of the series, yeah. Woo. You can't stop the rain. <laughs> hey, oh no, it's in another. It's in another fantasy. That's my. That's my fantasy football name. For real, you can't. nigga. Hey. That, mo- that motherfucker Lamar, bro. <laughs> well, nah, this, this shit is golden, man. And it's but it's like, how many seasons can they go? Well, see, Tamika asked me that too. She asked me, "Was he st- was Big Meat still in, in jail?" And I said, "Yeah." So, yeah. I see them only going three, no more three. than three. Yeah, and it depends on how they how they end this season. Yeah, how they going? You know, are they going to end it with 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 um with them venturing out? You know, because you know when uh, Terry go to the L.A. and then he take over the the, the South region. You know. Yeah, you can do that to the like the later episode. Yeah, that's season like, three. That's, like that's, the, that's gotta be like the last season, man. That's kind of the end right there. So yeah. I think maybe just keep building this slow. I love I love it, man. I love it. I'm finna go in there and watch this as soon as soon as we get off of this shit. I'm going there and watch the episode now. I'm late like a motherfucker. When you so watch it, gone. when you watch it, you just 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 know what I what I was talking about, bro. Like it's and that's what I hate because now it's gonna be in my head. But okay, don't don't think about it like that then. But like uh, said, that's gonna be in my goddamn head. Uh, Power Book Two starts Sunday, too. So we you know get, I'm ready for that. So we getting the finale and Power Book Two. <clears throat> I'm ready for that. Know. Yeah. So BMF come on first, and then Power Book Two is coming on right after. You know I fuck with Tariq. That's my boy now. So yeah, I, I like that. I like. I love that show. I really do. I just. I, I hope it. I hope it goes good. I need to go back and watch the last couple of episodes just to make Refresh. sure my mind is waiting. Yeah. I don't remember fuck all that shit. Shit. Everything going on. I remember what the fuck happened the last episodes. Yeah, we'll get a little refresher. Like with um yeah, I, with the I think I forgot the damn professor name, but I remember them killing him. I gotta see what yeah. what all happened. Um so what's that shit playing out. What else? What else you been? What else been on? Uh, oh yeah, Insecure. I'm not caught up on that yet, but you don't watch Insecure. Man, they they been having all that shit on. I come to the living room, lay down. I, don't, it, I can't get into nothing. The the it ain't so far. The first episode was good, but the last two episodes wasn't all that. 
Not to me. Nah, I watched the, uh, you see the uh, Colin Kaepernick thing on Netflix? I started watching it. I haven't finished it yet. I don't like it. You don't like I it? I didn't like it. Nah. Why? I ate something I shouldn't have seen. Like, because I, now, now, that shit made him look like a, to me, he had a lot of handouts. And he wasn't taking advantage of it? Nah, he took advantage of him, but he, he was like, his his foster parents kind of he was privileged, a black privileged. He was privileged. Kid. Okay, he was. He had he had problems being black, but your white parents guy gave you a lot of fucking help. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. They gave you a lot of fucking help, and I was like, it just made it just rubbed me the wrong way. I didn't. Cause for him to be on this like pro black shit, you're not really pro pro black. You're not you, you not fully pro- black. Not even that, but you're not. You on this pro black shit now? Like I wonder. I don't know, man. You I wonder just, how you like, felt about it a long time ago. No, nah, he he always because I know he growing up he had problems being black, mm-hmm. but your white parents covered up a lot of shit for you. But they helped you out a lot. Okay, I see where like, you coming from now. When they took him to that football camp, like niggas can't get into that camp. He was the only one that was able to get in there like that. Yeah, because you were sorry. Mm-hmm. You weren't sorry. You just weren't ready for that. Not ready yet. You weren't talented enough yet. Okay. He, he was, yeah. I got you. So him going to that camp helped him out a lot. Mm-hmm. And him him going to that, just because he went to that camp, that's what got him a starting spot. They're like, he went to the camp this weekend. Uh, or what is this, this summer? Uh, so everybody that go to that camp kind of get looked at. So that's what made the head coach be like. He, but he did put in the work. Yeah, yeah, but yeah. still. Cause I've been saying you can't black, de- you can't deny his work, but he black, had a lot of help. And had that opportunity, he had a lot of help, dude. Yeah, I haven't seen it yet, but somebody appeal. Uh, you the second or third person that told me I need to watch it. Yeah, I ain't like it. I mean, I watched it. What about but, um um fuck? What's the damn name of the movie? Uh, I ain't watch no movies. You ain't seen the uh, God damn. Um, Squid Games, all that shit. We, nah, we ain't been on. No, nah, not behind. Not Squid Game. We talked about Squid Game, but did, did you ever? Did you ever finish watching Squid Game? I never watched it. Nah, I still ain't watched. Nah. It. What the fuck is the name of the movie? Uh, the cowboy movie. Oh, um, I ain't watched it, but Nate she told me to watch it, but I ain't got time for that shit. The harder they fall, there it goes. Sorry, y'all. <laughs> the harder they fall. Bro, when I say that's I a good, her, that's a good movie, bro. The time to watch that shit. The only thing I'm waiting on is that uh, with Will Smith, Serena Williams film that come out this weekend. Weekend, this I'm gonna have to. Oh shit! Now nah, we go to uh, damn. I don't know when I'm gonna watch it, but I, I, I want to sit down and watch that. That come out this weekend. I'm, I'm anxious to see that. Are they coming out on HBO or some shit? HBO Max. Okay. Okay. Yeah, HBO Max. <clears throat> Damn, I don't know when I'm gonna. Oh, I'm gonna watch that on the plane or some shit. Cause we leave out next week. No, nah, it come out this weekend. I know, but shit, I leave uh, Monday. Oh, okay, okay. Weekend. Ain't oh. no Thanksgiving break. So y'all gonna um, so y'all gonna be gone the whole weekend? The whole week, shit. <laughs> Fuck the weekend. Oh yeah, that's right. Um, what else that we got? You try. But I want to see that. And I seen the trailer. I, I, I want to see that shit. It looked good. You see the uh, you see the uh, commercial they got <laughs> with uh, Stephen A. Smith and uh, Marshawn Lynch. Oh yeah, with them uh, doing the press conference thing. The press conference. Yeah, I like that <laughs> shit. <laughs> that was that was that was good. If y'all ain't seen that yet, y'all go uh, Google that shit. It's yeah, funny. That shit was funny. It looked it, it looked good too though. If I'm, you knew what they was talking about, I was just gonna say those. you had to you had to catch the little references and uh yeah you <laughs> gotta know what the fuck is going on. But anybody that's in the sports know what they talking about. <laughs> uh, that shit was cool. But we got uh Aaron Rodgers. Before we go, let's 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 uh Aaron Rodgers COVID. Let's talk about that a little bit. <laughs> he played the most. Played him played him like a played him like a goddamn piano, bro. He, so how do, how do you how do you feel about that compared to um to your boy Kyrie? They was hard on Kyrie, bro. 
They killed Kyrie. They was pissed at Kyrie. Kyrie was honest about his situation. He said he was not vaccinated. He didn't make up no bullshit lie about why he didn't, about him not being vaccinated and all this other shit. So I commend Kyrie, bro. He he was honest with his shit. He was up front. He told him straight out the gate that this is what he wanted to do. Now, so I, I should have. I didn't know what we're going to talk about it, but I should have got more information on it. So, in the NBA, you have to be vaccinated, right? They basically making it seem like that, yeah. But so the, with Kyrie, the NFL, though, the NFL is, is making you, but if you're not, you you have to follow a different different set of guidelines. Wear a mask on the sideline. Wear um, um, in the buildings and the facilities. Wear a mask, you know, more and they were saying he wasn't wearing mask at all in the facilities. <laughs> and he was walk, walking around free mouth at practice. Yeah, because he should have been doing Zoom interviews. Like uh, they were saying, uh, Carson Wentz is isn't vaccinated, and they were saying Carson Wentz do Zoom interviews, uh, all this and that. And they said this nigga walking around free mouth at the Halloween party. Yeah, <laughs> no mask on, and it pissed me off because who called it first? Uh, now, Adams called it first, right? Devontae Adams? Yeah, Devontae Adams got it first. But they were saying he probably could have got it from Aaron Rodgers. That's what I'm saying. Like, man, this is some bullshit. <laughs> he fucked me out of fantasy that week. He probably could have got it from Aaron Rodgers. I was mad at the motherfucker because that week he didn't play. I needed the motherfucking points. <laughs> uh, I'm mad as a motherfucker. But I'm like, damn, Aaron Rodgers ain't really taking no heat for this. Not as much as Kyrie was. They was not, not, nowhere near it. Nowhere near. They was beating Kyrie ass, nigga. They was, but a lot of Kyrie situation too is because you know New York, you know you can't do you can't do none of that type of stuff without having no card in New York. That, that's what I was talking about. I, I should have got more information on it. So maybe maybe that's what plays a part in it. That is. It, uh, that is. That's, that plays a big part in free. Kyrie not being able to play because of the the New York guidelines. You have to be vaccinated. So probably ain't. That's strict. No, at all. At all. Yeah, hey, that makes sense. I ain't knocking him for not getting a shot. Like you can have your own, your own opinions, your your own feelings about it. Like you can have your own beliefs. But man, you ain't vaccinated. Don't do the right, around do the right thing, bro. At least do the right thing, bro. Yeah. yeah. Do the right thing. Don't be putting other people at risk. Like at it was risk. a lot of teams. It was they was going back to say it was a lot of teams that they played that. Tackled him and shit like that. <laughs> so a lot you of these go, dudes. You, 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 pretty much, you down there got to shut down. Not shut down the lead. That might be too far, but if for just for you, look how many people was affected by that. Mm-hmm. Somebody tackled you. They went in the locker room with their teammates. So that, 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 that whole team is under wraps. Done. And, and truth be told, since he was in the locker room with with a lot of them people, a lot of them should have been quarantining too because they was in a at least quarantine a, 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 a day or two to see, you know. But they, I'm guessing since they all had to came back negative or whatever, you know that that dismissed a lot of that. Man, so. people going, so you affected them. They going home to their family. Their family is affected. They coworkers. They kids at school. It's like mm-hmm. a domino a, effect. A like he the walking zombie, nigga. You. <laughs> You down here fucking around. <laughs> Nigga, the walking zombie. Yeah. How many, just, that's like the Travis Scott shit. Think how many people yeah. you affected like that. That's true. That is true as hell, too, nigga. Nigga, so many people probably getting um, infected down there. It was pitiful. I think I came in contact with Aaron Rodgers. I need to give me a check. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm suing, yeah. nigga. I'm suing. Yeah. He infected me on purpose knowing he wasn't vaccinated. <laughs> knowing he wasn't. Nigga. Yeah, I'm going to call me a lawyer, man. Give me Aaron Rodgers. Give me some, some, <laughs> try to give me some. Motherfucker. That's how they That's how they doing Travis Scott? Mm-hmm. Finding yeah, any other mother- thing. Everybody trying to dig in my nigga pocket, so fuck it. I'm going to go dig in Aaron Rodgers. Um... I don't like the nigga no way. Oh, before we go, let's John John Gruden. So you last time we was on, we did talk about the uh the um the situation with him and uh the owners and all this and that, and we did say more will come out. So you the yeah. last thing we said 
I know y'all talking about in the group chat. But the last thing that came out was that he's filing a lawsuit. On Goodell, on, though. On Goodell. But good, like I say, he was protecting the owners. The owners don't fuck with Goodell. Yeah, that's true, too. That's so that's, true that, too. That, that, it might be part of the plan to get this nigga up out of here. P- Goodell out of there? Yeah. Huh. That could be I meant to text y'all. I meant to text y'all that. T-Raw texted that shit one day. I was like, I was driving, so I couldn't really get down how I wanted to. <laughs> yeah, but the owners don't fuck with Roger Goodell. Them niggas don't like him. They Some, tell that nigga what to do. Yeah, they, they run the league, basically. Yeah. The owners do run the league. Man, that nigga, dog. I'm telling you, man. You know, we we just keep keep letting this shit unfold, man. I, I guarantee, by the, like you said, the end of the season, <laughs> it's going to be a whole bunch of shit to come out. Yeah, they just letting the season, letting the season. That way, cause, you know, we wait till after the season. We let this shit die down in the summer. So next year we start off fresh. We can't let this shit, shit. Hit, the, hit the fan right now. It's going to be a lot of shit, bro. Like I was telling somebody, nigga, I'll be surprised if if it's a fucking, um, if it's not a fucking boycott or they don't even uh, stand. They taking a the stand next season and not even want to play. I ain't going to go that far. Too much money. And I ain't going to, hey, man. Hey. <clears throat> One thing about it, man, a lot of them people's that changing their family lives. Yeah, that's true too. They ain't gonna mess up. They ain't gonna try to mess up that money. Yeah, man. So you know, it's less. Uh, yeah, it's hard. It's true. hard. It's hard to start making millions. And you want me to shut down right now? Like mm-hmm. I ain't with that shit. Nigga. Mm-hmm. Y'all call uh, money hunger. I ain't with the calls, nigga. Fuck it, nigga. I'm changing my family life right now. That's Fuck true. y'all. That's true. Cause she, y'all ain't gonna stop going to y'all job. Y'all ain't gonna stop watching this shit. At all, nigga. You're bringing the replacements. Y'all go watch that. <laughs> I'm fucking money. I ain't, I ain't, I ain't <laughs> you know, it's so, so much you can do. Now, I'm, I'm all for a boycott or whatever, but, uh. <laughs> when it comes, started... when it, you start talking about taking my money, whoop, gotta go. <laughs> <laughs> you niggas start talking about that money. <laughs> gotta go. <laughs> <laughs> gotta go. <laughs> I, like I would have nailed the shit with Cap, but they just start talking about, hey man, you ain't get paid if we uh, well, Cap. I'm standing my ass up, buddy. <laughs> what we doing, Cap? <laughs> I'm standing my ass up, buddy. <laughs> hey man, for the fuck of my money, man, I'm I work too hard. I'm standing my to ass up, buddy. <laughs> I'm all for the calls, man. We need to come up with something else, man. Start digging nigga pocket, man. <laughs> I don't care. Y'all, y'all niggas call me whatever the fuck y'all want to call me, man. Sell out. I'll be all that, my nigga. You ain't the fuck about. I work too hard to get to this point. <laughs> now, this is a bullshit job or something. I'm all for the calls, baby. You want to yeah. walk out? I was in the Netflix thing. I ain't walking out. <laughs> 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 Let the nigga start talking about a pay. Hey, hey, hey. <laughs> <laughs> so I guess the question would be how far you would go to boycott. When, it's all, when the money stops, hey, it's time to stop. I nigga pocket. <laughs> you saw the pocket, man. <laughs> Jeez. I Nah, Z, I, I be you know me. I, I know how to stay low key. I figure something out, but uh, them niggas, I, I be talking to the owner. Hey man, <laughs> nigga, that cut that check. Che- <laughs> nigga, cut that check. <laughs> you just gotta give me that money, man. I'm here, man. <laughs> <laughs> I'm oh, gonna shit. fuck, man. Y'all can call, y'all can oh, call shit. me whatever the y'all want to call me, man. Oh, man, hey, shit. fuck a nigga pocket, man. I ain't with this shit. <laughs> I can only go so far, man. Yeah. But nah, what's what's what about uh who's we talking about? Gruden. Oh yeah. What just, you I mean like you like I said earlier, most shit gonna come out, but I just wonder why he waiting so long to put it out. You know, if your character like they said, defam like they his lawsuit was defamation of character. Right. If your lawsuit if if your lawsuit is defamation of character. Why are you waiting so long? You know, they insulting your your character. Fuck that. Insult they insult his character back. Don't don't try to hold nothing don't try to hold nothing back to protect none of them. Obviously they don't give a fuck about you. So you go ahead and you do what you gotta do to, to protect your character your character still. So you can at least get a job somewhere else. If you even want a job anywhere else. So okay. that's the way I look okay. at it. The Raiders got bad luck right now, man. Them niggas can catch a break. 
Yeah, that Henry. Oh yeah, that Henry Rugg shit. Man. And then the other little, the other little DB that was uh flag. But that nigga, he's just a goof. <laughs> yeah, that nigga. Like that for. That nigga's dumb, bro. But that Henry See, Rugg shit, bro. That I, shit. I'm hurt. always thinking about the. That's like the, the baby shit. I wouldn't have posted none of that shit. I'm mm-hmm. thinking about the money. Mm-hmm. He ain't finna fuck up my money. And this nigga on live. He, I don't understand the live pointing the gun at the camera. That's it's, it's the new style these days. That's the I new don't style understand these days. That. New style. Like, bro. what are you going to do? These, these, do? These, these young kids nowadays, bro, the way I look at it, all they want to do is show off for social media. Social media is really a poison, bro. <laughs> but it's another way to show out. Like you show out throwing your money or something. Ain't no, you ain't scaring nobody with that gun. <laughs> Me, I put it when it got a bank roll out the bank and been throwing the money somewhere. <laughs> like <laughs> nigga, it got broke ass nigga. I would have showed out like that. <laughs> I'm not pointing a gun and yelling at no phone, dude. Yeah, I'm not doing. Oh, oh, I, I, I ain't understand. That nigga's a goof. He, he deserved to get the fuck up out of here. And then on top ass. of that, I think, didn't they say he, he threatened somebody too? Oh, uh, he did all kinds of stuff. Yeah. <laughs> he'll never be in there. He'll, stupid, never, he'll never have a job again. Hope he was saving <laughs> Hoping he was saving yeah, he them checks. Hey, you, done. you done. Hope he was saving them checks. poor Rugs, man. I feel sorry for that dude. But shit, he did was stupid. So It was stupid. Do you believe what David Carr said, though, like, this ain't the time to beat them up. This ain't the time to uh, um, um, what? be against them. This is the time to, you know, somebody has to be in this corner other than family. You know, somebody you has know. to be in this corner. He did right. He, you need to be in this corner, yeah. not me. That's the same thing. Yeah, my partner. Yeah, that's the same thing I was saying, bro. Like, nigga. And my partner, you, you doing right. You you being in this corner, you giving him support he need. Not me. I don't feel sorry for him. I feel sorry for the people that died. Yeah. I feel sorry for you, nigga, doing no dumb shit like that. Like I seen the video, like you see the video, uh, how fast he was going. And nigga I was, seen the one with, like the, the the street camera, and he just yeah, that's like, all. nigga, like some shit from Back to the Future, nigga. Like <laughs> I was like, what the fuck is going on? But David Carr, right? Because it, it, it's like if, if if one of my partners do something bad, like damn, I got a shit, man, I can't. I can't beat him up right now. Nigga don't want to hear that shit. My partner, I mm-hmm. got to look out for him. Mm-hmm. I got to mm-hmm. tell him I got to be on his side. Like, I got to yeah. be there for the nigga. Once, he get, once I see him in the mental space and he good, then that's when you tell him, hey, what I, you did I don't was even, fucked I up. I wouldn't bring it up. I wouldn't even, nigga don't want to hear that shit. Nigga know he fucked up. Nigga don't yeah, hear that's that true, shit. too. That's true, too. That nigga know he fucked up. I wouldn't even bring it up. I'm just be there for my partner, man. That's true, too. I'm nigga don't want to hear that shit. Because that ain't going to do nothing to put me back in a black hole and make me want to... Yeah, we ain't, we, ain't, we ain't gotta have that conversation, yeah, bro. Yeah, that's I wanna true. talk. I ain't bringing it up. But if you ask me how I feel about it, then we can talk. But mm-hmm. I, I ain't gonna bring it up. So David Carr doing right. He's supporting his partner, his teammate, but not me. <laughs> <laughs> you ain't you going, going to get that Harry Ruggs jersey. Hell no. <laughs> that was stupid, bro. Yeah, nigga. You, gotta call him hey, you ain't my partner. I don't, what know, you what was fuck, I don't know what the fuck he was thinking, man. He probably Dumbass. wasn't thinking. Why are you even? Why are you even out drinking? And on top of that, he was still in his rookie contract too, so you know he didn't have a lot of money. But they were saying the- they were saying that this was this was this was part of the decision that the Raiders made. They took all of this stuff into consideration before they moved that team to Vegas. Because they said it would have some type of impact on the young players of causing see, them to do crazy things like this. See, nah, I, I ain't even go, I don't even want to take it that far. I don't, I don't even want to say it's Vegas. Like, it, it, it wasn't like he's at the casino. I think it was at Top Golf. <laughs> it's a Top Golf everywhere. Mm. So I don't want to blame Vegas shit. Everybody ain't down there getting drunk and shit. Well, they probably is, but they ain't getting caught with shit. Yeah. You gonna party wherever you at. Wherever. You're gonna, you or gonna you gonna party. find a way to party. You're gonna get a, a bottle of liquor and you're gonna find something to 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 kick back and chill with. Shit, it's probably niggas from Houston, Texas and Vegas right now. We don't know. Mm-hmm. That's true. Or anywhere. They they, they party in anywhere. You go party, they you go party. You gotta be responsible, bro. Yeah. And that's that's part of 
whoever whoever's in his camp, I kind of put the blame on them a little bit too because they they sit up. It's the same thing with the secure Shakari Richardson situation. You put exactly. them, you you let the money make a bad decision. Exactly. You let it's the money whoever, make a bad decision. Whoever he was out with that night fucked him over too. Yep. Yep. They shouldn't have been letting his ass get behind the wheel of no fucking car. Nobody would go down. Yep. And I don't give a fuck, nigga. You drive, you drive me home, and you find a way to come back and get the, get your car or something. But if yeah. if, if you and and you able to drive good without getting pulled over, you drive me home, and then you come back and get your car tomorrow or some shit, or you Uber to get this motherfucker. It's, it's nowhere, not not the money. We what? all out, and I know this nigga got the money. Hey, nigga, we gotta, I'm gonna whoop your ass that night. Yeah, you ain't, you ain't driving home, nigga. Say T. Raw made it to the league. You think I'm letting this nigga do anything stupid? Nope. 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 Ain't nope. even my money, but I ain't even let you fuck it up, yeah. nigga. I know if I need it, I'm coming to you, yeah. nigga. <laughs> 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 it's, it's food, somebody. You know I ain't fucking up the money, man. Yeah. Protect. Man. Well, he was out. He was in the car with his girl, right? Yeah. Yep. Yeah. And she probably was drunk too. Yeah. So, mm-hmm. I mean, it's, I, I I don't feel sorry for stupidity, man. Nah, we we not supposed to. But the thing is, is that the people out there that's that's listening and people that's you know that seen that situation unfold, it should be a lesson to them to be sitting up there and saying no, not to do no dumb shit like that, man. Just not even though, not even not even just because not even because you rich, but just anybody here, mm-hmm. like you. See, they say they gonna start putting the uh, breathalyzer in the cars in twenty twenty four or some shit. Oh shit, for real? Yeah, I kind of agree with it. It should have been. I, I mean, yeah, it should have been 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 done. Imagine how many lives would be saved. That's true, bro. That'll That's force true. you to go catch that Uber. Yeah, and so, that was the whole I'm, point of of Uber and uh, uh, Lyft and all that coming around to prevent these people from drinking and driving, bro. Problem, bro. Like I said, I seen a lot of people was pissed off at it, but I ain't mad at it. Nah, I ain't mad at it. That could they, you know, people so nowadays though. Though the thing is, is people so if it ain't the norm, it pisses them off and it makes them uncomfortable. I, but you know, people just, you know, because everybody did it. Mm-hmm. Everybody drove drunk before. Yeah, I know I had. You know, luckily. Luckily, nothing ever happened. Allegedly, but. nigga. Allegedly, you have, nigga. Allegedly. I drove drunk before shit. I, I went to, uh, <laughs> nigga, I was towed out and went and drove a bus, nigga. <laughs> On that motherfucking video, nigga, I'm towed out, nigga. Get out of that lane. <laughs> oh, I'm towed out. Oh, luckily, nothing ever happened. You know, now yeah, yeah. I mean, it's funny now. Well, it's not funny, but. Like that was stupid. Yeah, that was stupid. Ooh, shit, that yeah. was stupid as fuck. But you ain't, ain't, ain't got to worry about me learning the hallway. I look at niggas like that and like, okay, yeah, you yeah. fucked that one up, though. Yeah, I'm done with that. You ain't, you ain't, you ain't okay. got, you ain't got to do nothing but show me one time, bro. I won't do that shit. I see, you know, David Carr doing what he's supposed to do. He, he was right. He said all the right things, but that's for you, not for me. Yeah. You you got to be there. You can't beat him down. Me, that was stupid, dude. And really more Fuck. of the team, the team, if if you if that was really your team, man, you was really rocking with that boy, you, you should be in this corner too still. David Carr shouldn't be the only one yeah. sticking his face out there. Y'all, y'all need to be in this corner. Don't say us. Yep. Yep. And I don't know, maybe David Carr could have, maybe he could have been talking about uh, more of his teammates should have been coming out, or maybe he, maybe he knew somebody personally with rugs or whatever. But uh, on that note, we got anything else? <clears throat> right, let me double check these notes. Shit, I ain't. Man, we've been gone so long, dog. We gotta, we gotta get this shit together, man. We gotta figure something. Out. I guess we are gonna try this soon. Shit, see how it works. Yeah. Like I say, we'll, we'll uh, I feel like I feel like this will work. We'll we'll put it out a little bit more now. We all just been so goddamn busy, man. Like yeah, school been kicking my ass, and I your ass been working, and then Tracy been working. So 
Yeah, and they just started basketball, so this mm-hmm. nigga here, you know. Nigga, nigga trying to be a uh, motherfucking um, Coach K and shit. <laughs> What's the nigga from Coach Coach Carter? Nigga yeah. Coach Carter. Yeah, Coach Carter. <laughs> <laughs> and the motherfucker when he is. <laughs> <laughs> Be Coach Carter and shit. Nigga, 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 nigga clown you, whatever you doing, man. You doing some good talk, man. Nigga, clown you. All right, Carter. Well, yeah, shit, I guess that's it. You, you, uh, no, the MySpace. You get a new MySpace? No, I, I actually thought about it, but I seen that somehow it was still connected to um Facebook. So I said, fuck that. Bro, oh, it's still connected? Somehow... The same people that's that's running Facebook is supposed to be trying to run that MySpace. Oh, I don't think Tom running that MySpace. <laughs> no, Tom traveling. You see the pictures you taking? Tom, Tom, Tom got all our money <laughs> and did. Yeah, Tom, Tom got that bank rolling got on down. What you supposed to do? What you supposed I'm to do? You, Tom. What you supposed to I do? Mad at you. What you supposed to do? He a photographer now. All you do is travel and take pictures. No shit. Yeah, you ain't been seeing this shit? Nah. It's been all over the news and shit. Ain't that some shit? Old Tom. Yeah, Tom. Tom traveling, taking pictures. He living his life. I think got that bankroll. Ain't that some shit? I did not know that shit. But now, I ain't had, I don't, I don't got time for that shit now. You know, I thought about it. I ain't think about it. I was like, yeah, I ain't got time. To, yeah. That shit take. Put music on your page, and well, I'm, I'm more than sure it's, it's different now. You ain't got to copy and paste. No yeah, shit. do the coding. We were doing the coding. Yeah. Oh, man, we was cold, nigga. <laughs> <laughs> we was cold like a motherfucker. We was cold like a mug. We didn't even know what the fuck it was called. We was just, hey, nigga, no, nah, nigga, this is what you do. You copy this, all that shit, whatever that is. You copy that and put that on your page, nigga. I, uh, I still, I don't got a TikTok number. That I'm, I'm that old nigga now. Hey, bro, I hate to say it. We all are, bro. I was somebody yesterday was telling me you need to be on TikTok. I was like, nigga, what? I said, I only got a TikTok but, for the the the, the, the podcast page. Nigga. I said, I don't personally have one. Shit. Yeah. That's, that's Nick. Nick, you got to run that shit. Where you at, Nick? <laughs> Nick, yeah. I need to get with you too, man. My daughter want a photo shoot for her birthday. Oh, for real? Yeah, I got I to gotta hit old Nick up. Yeah. Um. Yeah, nah, I ain't, I ain't got time, man. I just it's like it's not enough time in the day, man. I'm so motherfucking tired right now. How you been doing with the time though? That that time change have, did it fuck you up? It's I don't like it. I don't like it either, bro. I don't like it. I was coming. I was on my way back. It was like five forty-five, and the sun was already setting. Nigga, thinking this like eight o'clock already. I, you know what it is? I don't like night driving. Oh, okay. I do not like to be at, on the road at night. It's cause I be uh, I kind of got roll rage now, so I be shooting the fang and shit. That <laughs> 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 nigga say he got roll rage. Roll rage. Motherfucker, man. I hunt that a nigga. Uh, it was like two days ago. Nigga wouldn't let me pass him up. <laughs> like you know, you get on the side of somebody, and they just go the same speed as you. Cause they ain't trying to let so you I'm, over, nigga. Really go past the nigga. So we doing this back and forth. So I just lay on the horn. I just lay on the horn on his ass. I shot the finger at him. But it's like, see, this nigga got a gun tonight, that motherfucker. So I was like, oh, during the day, you can do that shit. Nigga, shit. At night, it's different. That nigga speak up and get the shooting back. I'm, I'm out of there. So that should be a that nigga, nigga Z threw the bird at him. Shooting the finger like a motherfucker now, man. I'm laying on that horn. <laughs> hey, now, fool. Ain't you no, know, I, I blame Rhino. Oh yeah, nigga, cause that nigga got road rage, nigga. Oh, that crazy man. That nigga <laughs> got road rage, nigga. That nigga Rhino crazy man. I got that shit from him. That nigga I used to be a calm, sit back. I say nah, man. Cause like little shit annoy me now. I don't, I don't know what it is. It's just little shit annoy me. I get that. My thing, my shit now is that horn. I land on that bitch. <laughs> Motherfucker, gonna be get to change it out in a minute. <laughs> 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 that nigga got to change it out in a minute. <laughs> oh, I used to, I used to shoot the finger from the sides of motherfuckers would see me. Now I'm in, I'm in your shit, man. <laughs> I'm in your shit with it, <laughs> nigga. Now, now it's up. <laughs> I'm shooting that bitch out the window, nigga. 
I need to stop that shit though, man. But driving at night, it's like you can't really see who in that car. You don't know who it is. Like, what the fuck? Let me chill. Yeah, that is a different. The- that's a different type of driving <laughs> though. Fuck you. You got to be more more cautious at night, and like you say. I don't. I don't, I don't like this, this, this shit. It was a five forty five. That motherfucking sun was already set. I don't I, like this day. I don't. I don't like it just because of the sleep, nigga. By fucking seven eight o'clock, nigga, I'm getting sleeping in the motherfucker, nigga. Yeah, it's only fucking. Oh, it's ten o'clock now. When I got home, it was like what eight something. I'm like, man, I feel late as fuck. Mm-hmm. Yep. Uh, Let's see. Yeah, man, we got, Before we, nah, man. yeah, we gonna get it back right now. Uh, I say I told you now, like man, I know Benny be mad, man. Nah, nah, nah. I understand shit. Half of the time, I be busy too, man. Shit. Like, I know Benny ready to get back to the podcast, shit, man. We gotta. I don't, I don't like being a nigga with an excuse. Nah. <laughs> I hate being a nigga with an excuse. I ain't no bullshit nigga. You know what I mean? I'm on top of my, I hate being a nigga with an excuse. I like, because what we supposed to do was Saturday? Yeah, Saturday. But Saturday, the fucking power went out over in the neighborhood, and we didn't get no power back until damn near three something. Man, I came home with a sleep. I bet you did, nigga. <laughs> Tired as a motherfucker, nigga. I was I <laughs> I slept all day. Well, shit, nigga. Like I tell you all the time, nigga. I appreciate you. I appreciate you and Tracy, nigga. Y'all niggas, even though we don't be doing it as much no more as we should, but I got a feeling that back. I got a feeling now we're gonna get back rolling. Yeah, now that we'll we got the Zoom. See how the Zoom shit work out. We're gonna get back to it. Well, like, ladies and gentlemen, bro, you bro. have listened to another episode. Uh, hopefully you'll get one next week. I think you probably will, though. Like I say, we on our, we are on Zoom, and we're gonna try to make it back right. <clears throat> yeah. Um. On that note, um. Thank y'all for listening, and we will see y'all next week. And I'm gonna leave out with a little something to remind y'all. Lamar on, baby. <laughs> Put that Lamar on. There's no sister, there's